NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager Ed Mango and Florida's Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll took center stage at the National Space Club Florida Committee's luncheon on August 14 as they talked about the future of human spaceflight with about 350 club members and guests. In 1927, when Lindbergh flew the first mission across the ocean, in the next four or five years, these companies, along with NASA, the industry, along with the United States, will create and be on the threshold of creating many more Lindbergh moments. What did Lindbergh do? He made the world a smaller place. What did the Glenn and Apollo 8 and the shuttle do? They made the heavens a smaller place. Commercial crew is going to continue that effort to make the world and the heavens a smaller place. Under the agency's newest commercial space initiative, called the Commercial Crew Integrated Capability, or CCICAP, the Boeing company, Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, and Sierra Nevada Corporation will spend the next year and a half bringing their spacecraft and launch vehicles closer to providing safe, affordable, and reliable access to low Earth orbit. The community in, this, in the state, the workforce, and our nation will greatly benefit from the works that will come out of many of you that's in the room today and the industries that are creating the next generation of great operational equipment that will afford us to not rely on any other country to take our astronauts into low Earth orbit, deep space, and or to the International Space Station.